situation in Palestine. And we have previously called on the office of the prosecutor to urgently lead a thorough and impartial investigation into this matter, one that complies with international legal standards to establish the facts and bring those responsible to justice. It is the collective duty of the international community to ensure that atrocities of this nature are duly prosecuted in terms of the Rome Statute of Conventions. If all of this were happening in Africa, they would have already issued warrants. It took three weeks to issue warrants on Putin, seven months, nothing on Prime Minister Netanyahu and his ministers. Of course, you'd have seen in reports today that the prosecutor of the ICC has received, like me, a letter from congressmen who have indicated that if you dare to issue a warrant, we will deal with you. Same letter I have received. Just imagine if South Africa were to ban the SABC. The whole media world would be on us. But what are they saying today about what Israel has done to Al Jazeera? Israel has made it a crime to express any empathy and support for Palestinians. And you also know that due to a range of very successful protests in the United Kingdom, the government there decided to add a new twist to the definition of terrorism, which meant essentially democratic, peaceful protests now become a terrorist act. 